So a friend of mine and I reverse engineered the bitstream format used by Lattice's IS40 FPGAs and I will put the link in the description to the project and um, all the technical details. In this video I just would like to give you a really short demonstration um, that we actually have done that. So this is uh, an ice stick, it's a development board for the ice 40 um, HX1K and um, here I have a little example um, project. Let's just create it. The project. Uh, select the right chip and the right package and then all these files. So uh, we have three files here. Uh, the Verilog code, it's just a little grey counter and it will uh, blink this these LEDs here. Uh, a synthesis constraint file for the clock period and uh, a place and route constraint file for the pin placements. And what I will do now, I will just synthesize this in IceCube. Uh, this will take a few seconds. Okay, so now I've generated a bitstream file for the FPGA and I'm going to program it. Um, the project uh, implementation SPT output bitmap top bitmap punct bin. So now I've uh, programmed the FPJ with uh, this design and we see the gray, the gray counter running here. So what I'm going to do now, I will take the same bit file um, and I will uh, put it to, through one of our programs called Ice Unpack. And this Ice Unpack program extracts all the configuration bits um, from the bin file. Let's just save this in a small text file. So now we can use our toolchain to uh, do certain things with the text file like um, Icebox explain, for example, will um, convert this this ones and zero into a bit more usable um, representation. Um, but another thing we can do, we can actually convert that back to Verilog. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, add the S option for now. Um, this will strip uh, a lot of comments. Um, so now we got uh, a Verilog output uh, that should be um, identical in behavior to the original design that was used for synthesis. Um, the only problem here is that I don't have the real pin numbers because of course that kind of information is not really stored in the in the bitstream. Um, but what we can do, we can um, uh, give it the original uh, placement constraints file and then it will extract the, the pin information from that and then it will know, okay, the uh, the pin on, on pin number whatever is LED1 and so on and it will uh, actually uh, use this this uh, pin numbers in the, in the created Verilog. So what I can do now to demonstrate that this actually is uh, correct, this actually is a behavioral model of exactly that design running um, on, on the ice right now um, is I can replace uh, the design here uh, with what I have just created. So let's just remove the Verilog code we had uh, and instead insert uh, this chunk here. Oops. So let's just copy that and paste it here and save it. So then I can uh, rerun this is actually quite fast for FPGA implementation tool so So now we have created a new bitmap 
and uh, we can program that. And now it's still doing the same thing because we, we haven't actually changed something. We uh, substitute the one very log with an identical very log. Maybe just to, to demonstrate um, that I actually did something here, I can, I don't know, replace this, this one with a zero. Um, and run it again. So now it, it doesn't work because I broke it. Good, uh, so that's it. That's my small uh, short demonstration. Uh, check out the link in the details. Um, the link in the description with all the details. Bye.